The Freedom From Religion Foundation is suing the IRS for refusing to audit churches that participate in political activity. So these are churches that actually make political endorsements and tell their, uh, you know, uh, parishioners to uh, go ahead and vote for Romney or vote for some congressional per, uh, candidate. Um, so or Obama, by the way. Or Obama. A anyone. It doesn't matter. Uh, as a church, you are considered tax exempt and therefore you are not supposed to participate in political activity and the reason for that is because the government doesn't want to subsidize political activity mm -hmm. okay um, so uh, the IRS uh, basically stopped auditing churches back in 2009 and a federal judge basically said a federal court ordered the IRS to clarify who would authorize the audit of churches but the agency has yet to adopt new regulations now it's outrageous look and this happens on both sides. White evangelical churches uh, to you know encourage people to vote Republican, of course. But black pastors oftentimes encourage uh, people to vote for Democrats, and certainly for President Obama. That has been known to happen in 08 and 2012. Uh, it bothers me both times. Now, look, don't get me wrong. You have freedom of speech. You have freedom of religion, right? And they can make political statements, but you just can't be tax exempt. Exactly. So have at it, Hoss. If you say, hey, you know what? I'm going to pay my taxes, and now I would like to say, hey, vote for Mitt Romney or Barack Obama, go for it, right? But why are we subsidizing you? In fact, you know me, I, I don't think we should be subsidizing the churches in the first place. Uh, why do they get special privileges? Okay, they have certain beliefs. I have certain beliefs. Why don't I get a tax exemption for being agnostic? Uh, Church of Jenk, give me a tax exemption. Well, they're not going to do that. Be, and it's ridiculous and they shouldn't do it for any other religions either. Right. And part of the reason for that is because it's considered, you know, churches are considered like charitable organizations. They're supposed to uh, use their tax exempt status to help the needy, right? Because that's what churches are supposed to do. But that's not what's happening here. In fact, prior to the election, uh, a thousand pastors got together for something known as Pulpit Free Sunday. And what they did is they all made political endorsements and they were very brazen about it and the IRS did nothing about it. Um, and, and, and it's fine if, if you want to make those political endorsements, you have the right to do so, but you can't be tax exempt. Yeah. Now, that's the other part of this. I mean, it's such an Obama move that even under Bush, the IRS didn't just flat out say, oh, forget it, we're leaving the churches alone, we're not even going to bother auditing them. They pretended to care about it, etc as the enormous evangelical community uh, encouraged you brazenly to vote for Republicans. And again, it happens on both sides, but the white evangelical community just happens to be larger, obviously, right? And they happen to push towards Republicans far more. And of course, under Obama, he's like, what am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to do the right wing thing, right? So record deportations, record dispensary raids on drug dispensaries, and yeah, okay, yeah, just go ahead and uh, proselytize against me. Mm -hmm. I won't even audit. It's just, it's maddening. And look, I'm proud of Freedom From Religion Foundation. Now, you know, I don't know if I should say I'm biased on this because they've given me an award, but the reason they gave me an award because I agree with them, right? And I agree that, uh, that they should fight on these issues and make sure that the churches stop getting this unfair advantage.